my friends. This is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a challenge I made for myself called Clear It Out. I had a bunch of paper collections and I just slapped numbers on them. Then I am smashing them in no particular order this year. If I don't clear them out, I think I'll just donate them at the end or I don't know. I didn't really get that far. And honestly, I thought by July I would be further along than I am. But it is what it is, right? So this bag right here still has some stuff in it. It has, mm, looks like five whole sheets and then some scraps from two collections that I worked on. This is the number for one of them. I made this book. I'll, we'll do a flip on this one if we have time. This is how last month's turned out. And then I'll show you this one. This is more of the same paper color family, but with this 49 and market paper that Tony sent me. This stuff is so thick. I love it. I need to buy their paper. I sewed it with brown waxed linen thread. It just ties in perfectly. And this cover, oh, it's so crazy. It's so nice. I glued a bow bunny layer inside it, which is also very thick, but the two of them amazing together. And then I have just fun stuff, some of which you may have seen in other videos or in other stuff we were working on. Uh, scraps here that I've used up in a double pocket thing. And this I made in a different video a while back. This is napkin and this is a rice paper thing. And then I've got a bit of a gel print that had some glitter and a butterfly that's a little pocket here and the butterfly they're rub-ons and using a lot of the same color family paper and just putting fun stuff in all the pockets this one's pretty neutral i mean it could do a lot of different things i do have some nature things in here but nothing too crazy this is a pocket here and then live the life of your dreams. And we have some fun ephemera over here and stuff to play with. It's not all glued in. You can still move it around. And a journaling card that I made in a different video. So sometimes when you see these journals, you're like, oh, that's what she would do with that ephemera. And here, just a scrap of paper from something else that becomes a pocket tuck spot kind of thing. And in the envelope, we have a journaling card. But you can see there's a lot of places to write or glue stuff or sketch your ideas for projects. I just love these colors with, you know, touch of a little more blue and the green and kind of that vintage look. Tiny scrap of paper that I just couldn't let that butterfly go. So I made it a pocket, an envelope here and a tag with the corners inked and another one of those scrap journal cards. And it's partially decorated. Like if you want a clean journal, you could leave it just this way. If you want to decorate it into a crocodile mouth and then put a piece of lace around it to tie it closed, you could. Uh, there are cats and dog behind me doing things, so I don't know. You never know about here. Look at all these fun little things in here. And then this is just a piece of ephemera that the color kind of went. This flips out. I love this cover on it. This cover came into my life after I started using this paper collection and chopping it up and I just love how it turned out. Okay, this one was a tiny scrap of something and then I put this here and this is just a vellum envelope full of fun ephemera to play with. Then we have a card here with a tag sticking out, a pull tab, and I put a hole punch. You could also put an eyelet there and I think this would have fit through it and then a little butterfly on it. I just love this. I need to use my beads and bulky ephemera items and add more things like this that stick out because if you make a single signature journal, lots of times you don't want stuff hanging off the side or it's too thick. And so it's really fun to have stuff sticking out the sides or the top. Many times I put them on a shelf like this and lined up on the counter. So I don't like stuff sticking out the bottom unless it's just a ribbon or something that folds. But that's just me and how I use mine. And then we're going down the other side of the signature. Here's a little pocket with decorated things in it. Really kind of playing up the butterflies and earth tones in this. And 
vellum stickers and more stickers and then fun little things here to play with. This one has a lot of room to write. You can make anything happen. You know, sometimes I use papers that are too busy and you can't write on them. Like almost all of these you can write on and read it fine. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. And then I've stamped and got another sticker back there for fun. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. And we've got a pocket and a little bit of ephemera here, just so you know it's a pocket. And a fun pocket back here with some vintage paper torn on it too. Well, vintage look, right? And journal cards to write on. So really playing up the color palette and staying fairly true to the covers you see, the colors you see on the cover. I don't always do that. Sometimes it goes in all different directions. If you're interested in this journal, let's call it Butterfly and $26 all in shipped in the US. Leave me a comment down below the video and we'll work it out on Etsy. Or if you're too shy, maybe someday I'll get around to listing it on Etsy. If it sells first, then I don't bother listing. <laughs> okay, look at this one. You saw this last month. It's been a while, so I have a hard time remembering how much you saw, but I'm just gonna flip fairly quickly just so you can see how it landed because I think I added stuff to it afterwards. I just love this key. See, that's another example of using your dimensional things up at the top or the edges so that I stamped a bunch in here. I had fun with that. So that you get to use the dimension and not have stuff necessarily hanging off that's gonna catch or that your cats are going to take. They might still take it from me there, just so you know. Like I said, I can't really remember what I did since last month. I think some of the stuff I just added more. It was created, I know that. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to check the video and see. I like this one too. This one has a little more variety in color. But a lot of the same papers are making their appearances. Ooh, look at this with this vellum sticker and the ink. Love it. It's fun to see how much interest you can add without adding dimension. And I mean, that's just a random challenge you could do yourself, but you know, you do something different every time and you have a blast. And then back here, I just have all kinds of good stuff to play with. There's a lot of room in this one to write too, because I use so many of the same papers. Uh, this one, I probably wouldn't try and write on unless it was a really bold marker, but I also wouldn't want to cover up the butterfly. So I might just leave it exactly the way it is. Uh, this one, I might glue some stuff on or make some pockets. This one, of course, a lot of these, this one I would write on, not have any trouble. So same for this one, if you're interested, $26 all in, call it stamp cover and leave me a comment under this video and we will connect via Etsy to take care of that. I hope you are all taking time for crafting and relaxing, taking great care of yourselves. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we are full into summer and I was traveling, I was in Wisconsin. If you did not see the videos of that, I shared my haul video and I have a creative reuse video that I really hope the actual shop with me video is out by the time you see this, but I haven't finished the editing. That store was amazing in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. You know, if you're near there, check out the videos. If you're not, you can just check it out and then learn how to find one near you. I haven't looked at the collections for Clear It Out to see what I'm going to do next month. I don't think I'm going to work on this anymore. Is that bad? I think I'm just going to set these aside. There's some neutral enough stuff in here that I think at some point I will grab it and say, oh, I'll use that. But I don't want to challenge myself to just focus on cards with this bag because it just doesn't inspire me. And two months in the same paper collection, I'm good. <laughs> But it was two paper collections, so I should get points for that. I'll be back on the 18th with Basic Gray, so I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.